It is Manchester United 2, Liverpool 2, Manchester United who are winning the game in the second half, ending up dropping two points against Liverpool. Yes, against our Northwest Derby, we drop points, man. And again, I say it, whenever Manchester United take the lead in games like this, they just fuck shit up. They will let it all go down the drain and that's what they did. Overall, we didn't lose. We should have lost. Can you imagine watching the game the first 45 minutes? Manchester United, 12 shots conceded. We didn't even have zero shots. We had, I'm sorry, we had zero shots on goal in the first 45 minutes. How embarrassing it is. The amount of time we invited our pressure onto, through, onto our goal through our midfield as well. But Liverpool count themselves lucky to get a, get a draw. I'll be honest with you, even we count ourselves lucky to even get something in this game. But we could have went away with all the three points. But no, no, no. No, 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 no. Manchester United just don't do that anymore. We don't seal off games. Game management has been poor throughout. Let's look at the first 45 minutes. And I, I, and I have to start with, with the first 45 minutes. What a crap first half for Manchester United. And I highlighted it earlier, got zero shots attempted on goal against Liverpool where Liverpool had all the fun all the shots it's just embarrassing to to see what is the fuck is our manager doing in training what are those coaches doing in training what are you teaching them game in week in after week out we are consistently conceding chances and not doing anything going forward as well do my strikers my front three do you know each other Rasmus Hoyland Alejandro Gonacho, Marcus Rashford, do you know each other? Because you guys don't know Erasmus Hoyland. You don't even know that he plays for your team. You don't even know that he's a striker. He plays every week between you guys. It's like this. Oh, what's your name? My name is Erasmus Hoyland. What's your name? Marcus Rashford. Oh, what's your name? Alejandro Gonacho. Do I know you from somewhere? I feel like I've met you from somewhere. Yes, you met him from the last game and the game after that and the game after that and the game after that. And you still don't know each other. I'm tired of those three. They're costing us too much. I'm in field. Absent. Absent. Absent in general in that first 45 minutes. Manchester United are stressing us out. And I, I have to address the manager. What? How do you set up this team? And why? how do you go into this game week in, week out and you still pick the same team and you and use the same system and the same setup and allow this to happen to you it's like allowing someone to touch up your partner violate your partner right in front of your face every week how can you allow that to happen manchester united conceding that first goal from from a corner luis diaz with a scissors kick mainly trying to Block off Van Dyke and then and defend against him. Van Dyke drags out Kobe Mainu and the ball landing on to Luis Diaz for a scissors kick and finishing it off. And Liverpool leading 1 0 at half time. We were pissed. It could have got worse before at half time for us Manchester United fans. We wasn't enjoying it. I was like, no, what about this? Like, I can't take this no more. Like, I really can't take this no more. And then the second half come. Glory, glory to behold. A lucky mistake by, is it Kwanzaa, whatever his name is, that Liverpool defender making a mistake with his pass to give the ball to Bruno Fernandes to strike it just just on the D of the halfway line to score from the halfway line as well. Kelly Her was missing, bruv. Where the hell was you? And, and Bruno equalising and making it 1-1 for Manchester United in the second half. And he was like, you know what? We can believe a little bit. There's a little bit. But I didn't celebrate that goal too tough. Manchester United continued a little bit of dominance, you know, the small bit of dominance because we didn't dominate anything at all. Like, we score goals and then we retrieve and we cave back in and let allow and, and invite pressure. The second goal coming from an attack from Manchester United, the ball going on to Alejandro Gonacho. Gonacho finding the feet of Kobe Mano because Kobe Mano started off the attack. Kobe Mano turns and curls it past Kelly Her. Curls the ball through Kelly Her. You got curled up, bruv, Kelly Her. Kobe Manu making it 2-1. It was in dreamland. It was glory, glory Manchester United for us in that moment there. But guess what? Aaron Wan-Bissaka, who loves to go down on man, no diddy and pause, you know. Always getting his feet stuck in. Always knees sliding in. Always on his knees. And no diddy. Have to get himself on his knees. 
I think was it against Elliot fouling him, or was it um, Mo Salah? Whoever it was, just on his knees at the time. No, did he, man? I ran Bissaka. You cost us, and it was a penalty for Liverpool. And then guess what? Liverpool equalized. Making it 2-2, Mohamed Salah was never going to miss this while he's fasting around Ramadan. I'm glad he's best in him when he's fasting. Manchester United dropping two points at full time. 2-2. <sighs> what a game f- for neutrals. But for me, another game where I have to say top five is truly gone for us. It's, it's sealed. A loss against Chelsea midweek and a draw against Liverpool. It's gone. Only one point this week where I predicted zero points. Manchester United, the manager as well. You have to blame yourself sometimes. Marcus Rashford was was a tra- was atrocious. If we want to talk about players today, guys, Bruno Fernandez got a goal, but he was rubbish. He gave the ball away. The lack of decision making, the poor decision making, rushing the play, rushing passes. That's Bruno for you all over the place. And what can you say about him? Like he do- is Bruno does does what Bruno does best. I can't get upset, but again, it just shows me that he is not a playmaker. He's not world clubs. He's not a baller. He's not. He just can't dictate. And again, he doesn't show up in big games. Yes, he got that goal, but it was lucky. Casemiro, poof. Manu was the only one that can say again, done his thing. Hoyland, where was you today? What's the point of having a striker? Just what is the point? And now Ryan Bissaka, oh my God. But man, the match today, guys, I have to say... Um, gonna have to give it to Andre Onana with some vital saves today. You know, donkey of the match. I'm gonna give it to Marcus Rashford. Absolute doo doo today. Poo pants. Why are you here? I'm, you know what? I'm actually. I, I was happy that he got injured. You need some time away. An injury would help you, my friend. But guys, this has been your match reaction from your boy Ivor and Spice. Let me know who your man the match is in the comments and your donkey of the match and your thoughts on today's game. Tune in tomorrow at 8 p.m. UK time for the catch up. It is, it, it is what it is, man. Hopefully, Manchester United can do something next week. Anyway, guys, as always, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it united. Your boy is out. Peace.